Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Guess who's got their own razor blades now? Parker just came out with these razor blades, their own brand of razor blades. All it says on here is a five pack of stainless steel blades. It says premium platinum. Since 1973, Parker Safety Razor has been around that long. So that's pretty good. Pretty long time to be around in the wet shaving industry. I read on the outer sleeve that these blades are made in Turkey. So you know where they come from. I thought it might be a good idea to perform a shave with these new blades and see how they are. See if they're sharp enough, see if they can remove my two days worth of stubble uh, without any kind of a problem. And what razor to use, I thought only fitting that I would use a Parker razor. Even better than that, I'll use two Parker razors. This is the Parker 22R gunmetal finish. Pretty sweet looking razor. It's got like a, a diagonal knurling on the handle. And uh, it's a butterfly or twist to open style. So it opens just by spinning the handle knob and the doors, the silo doors open and close. So this is considered more of a mild shaving razor. But then on the other hand, we have this one, which is the 99R, which is considered a heavyweight razor, more of an aggressive type shaving razor. And this is also a butterfly or twist to open type. Silo doors open when you twist the knob at the bottom here. I'll load a Parker blade into each one of these razors and we'll have a shave and see how they perform. It's got the nice plastic, the hard plastic case, which is a plus as opposed to the paper case, you know, the little cardboard paper case. These are much nicer and I like the black, it's pretty sharp looking. And it also has the slot in the back where you can stow away your used razor blades so that, uh, you know, there's no danger when you throw them in the trash bin. Nice and easy, just slip, slip it right into the back here and it's gone. When you finish the pack, you can just throw it away and move on to your next pack. So I will remove one. It helps, I don't know why, it just helps if I, I lick my finger, it's easier to pull these blades out of here. Two blades. So they're individually wrapped, which is also nice. And I will open this up and let's have a look at the blade itself. There's not a lot of glue on here. Sometimes you get a lot of glue on the blade. But not, this is not the case with these. So on the blade it says Parker Premium Platinum. Here's a look at the blade itself. Same on both sides. Parker Premium Platinum. Let's open the other one as well. You know these DE or double edge razor blades, they can be used in your safety razor like this, or they can be uh, just snapped in half and also used in a shavette razor. So you get double duty out of these blades. Here's the other one. Let's pop this into the 99R. Doors are open, just slide it right over the top and close it up. Ready to rock and roll with the shave. Now the 22R, same deal. Just drop it right over the slot, close it up. Ready to rock and roll with this baby. Lock it down nice and tight. Okay, I'll warm up the face and we'll get to the shave. Splash some water. I haven't taken a shower, so I'll apply my face cloth to warm up the beard. I'll be using this Panta Ray brush that was custom made for me. It's got a nice uh, seascape of Samos and a church on one side. Swirl it in the shaving cream. And we'll go right to the face. Little figure eight method. Smooth everything out. My favorite part of the shave right here. Excellent. Let's clear the runways so we can see the sideburns. Okay, as I said, I'll shave the left side with the Parker 22R, the milder razor, and I'll shave the right side with the 99R, the more aggressive shaving razor. I'm just tempered under the hot water. 
to warm it up. And I'll start here, just perpendicular, tilt slightly upward, find that angle, cut the sideburn. Oh, not bad at all. Pretty smooth. Sweet. Rinse that one off. Now we'll try the 99R on the right side. Oh, you can hear there's more audible feedback. I get that right away because it's a little more aggressive shaving. This razor has a much heavier feel to it. Here's a look at them side by side. They're about the exact same size, but this one's heftier. Down the right side of the chin. And the neck. Very smooth. One pass, very smooth. All right, let's try the 22R. Excellent, also nice and smooth on the left side. We'll do the mustache area. This one is more aggressive shaving, but I have to say, I like the comfort of the 22R. It feels really good. And it's got a slot here where you can put your thumb and forefinger, and it's just very comfortable right there. Let's rinse off and re-lather. Today I'm using the Taylor of Old Bond Street Coconut Shaving Cream. It's got an excellent scent to it. If you like coconut, you'll love it. Against the grain on the left side, 22R. And now I'll go across the grain. Across the mustache area as well. Both heads are compact enough where it's easy to get under the nose. Now the 99R. And across the grain. Across the mustache. All right, let's rinse off, see how it feels. A hot water rinse, then cold water. All right, now you feel around. If you feel that you're close enough, you're good. If you feel like you need to be a little closer, you can perform, lather up and perform one more pass and shave against the grain or another pass across the grain in the opposite direction. Instead of ear to nose, go nose to ear. But I'm pretty damn smooth right there. 
Very impressed with both razors and the blades. The blade itself, very smooth, comfortable shave. No nicks, no cuts in either one of these razors. Just personal preference, whether you like a milder shaving razor, you'd go with this 22R. And if you like a more aggressive shaving razor, you'd go with this 99R. Again, here's what they look like side by side. Same length, give or take a couple millimeters. Both great shaving razors. As far as long lasting, I'm not sure. I'll have to get a few more shaves, but I'll see if I can get three, four, five uh, shaves out of this blade, and I can report back later on. But so far, so good. Let me just pat my face dry. I'll show you something right here. If you have any type of irritation, razor burn, anything like that, I've used this a couple times, I really like it. This is Thayer's. It's the Witch Hazel, but it's the medicated Witch Hazel. So it says topical pain reliever. So it's made for little nicks and cuts. That's exactly what it's used for. So wouldn't it just make sense that it would be perfect for aftershave if you suffer from any type of irritation. So we'll put some of this, a few drops right into my palm and just activate the ingredients, rub it together and put that on. Goes on nice and smooth. Not really a sting, just comfort. It's got a nice light scent to it, but it's really good as far as uh, cooling off and soothing any irritation that you might have. So you may want to check this out. Thayer's Medicated Witch Hazel. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fatboy. Have a great shave. Have a great day.